so we were walking through uh, the book festival. My daughter loves uh, puppies and I saw super puppies on the booth and she was so excited she had to run over to the booth to see it. And so we stopped and started talking and, and I liked what I saw. And um, it was a concept um, that I hadn't seen before. Um, so I asked some questions and we decided to give it a try. We've been homeschooling. We just started our 13th year. Some days are fabulous and some days are not. An average day is just, you know, I love that I've taught my kids to read. I love that I've, um, I sit and I, I see their face when they, when they grasp that concept and they've learned something and, and they get it. And that's so exciting to see. Well, math is not one of my strong areas. And so, you know, I'm looking for ways to help my kids uh, do better than I did. And Phoebe especially, she, uh, my daughter, uh, has a lot of difficulty writing. Um, writing her letters has been very difficult. And one of the things that I had um, asked about is why, why are the letters or the numbers in these math books printed so small? Because I'm thinking, well, this is, Phoebe's never going to be able to do it. And she said, because small hands should write small numbers. And I have never in my 13 years of homeschooling had ever heard that before. And I was so impressed because, so we take it home and sure enough, my daughter can write her numbers. She's still struggling with her letters because all the other stuff is having her write them so big, but her, her numbers, she can do great. And it's been awesome to see her get excited that she can write them. And I'm to the stage now where I'm having her, when we first started the math, I would have to sit and uh, keep her on task, you know, and, and each problem I would have to read to her and, and okay, now, now write your number, you know, and now I'll say, okay, you work on those ones, I'll be right back and I can walk away now and I'll come back and she has a couple of problems done. So she's learning that independence now um, because each page is consistent, each page is the same, um, just different math facts. But now that she knows how to write her numbers, she can do it independently and so she's learning that independent work. We don't use a lot, no. Oh, I think it's crucial. They need to be able to touch the math book. They need to be able to, to see it, to write it, to, to build the, the problems to... She could have probably learned some math facts on a computer or an iPad, but would she remember them? She's going to remember those math facts better because it's hands-on in what she's doing. I think page a day math is, is good uh, math just for every day for learning the math facts, but I would say it's exceptional for if they're struggling. I've had, um, we have three children and two, my older two didn't struggle and I could hand them anything in front of them and kind of explain it and they could just do it. And my daughter is not that way. I have to go over each thing with her and sometimes I have to go over it several times. And so it's just been exceptional that the repetition in it is worked so well for her. And so, yeah, they absolutely need to have, you know, kids, most kids learn by um, experiences and, you know, you can be told something, but are you going to remember it? You're going to remember it by doing it. And that's what the page a day math, it's having you do them over again and having you write those numbers and uh, the way the pages are laid out and the numbers for the little hands to write the numbers and it shows you, you know, how to write the numbers. Mm -hmm.